Many have said, and uh, President Pharmacists have said, that the shortage, the fertilizer challenge mm -hmm. was definitely going to affect food production. They've actually predicted we're going to have a food crisis on our hands and a food shortage on our hands. They've, every year they've said the same thing and it never happened. So I'm saying that in the enclave of Tachiman, physically in the markets, we saw something like 25,000 metric tons of maize from last year's harvest. So where's the shortage they are talking about? So are you saying that we have, we have enough food? Of course. But if that's the case, how do you explain the high food prices? That is, that is because there are a, a external factors. The, the troubling of uh, a petrol, which means that moving the produce from the farm gate to the market more than trebles, okay? The cost of production on the farm. If you, you used to do 120 CDs per bag and now you are doing 400 CDs per bag, you don't expect that the farmer will price it the same as before. So all these are factors outside the domain which are having the impact. It doesn't mean that the food is not there. I'm saying that I've seen with my experts in uh, that little enclave, something like 25,000, it's not in the warehouse, it's in the market. But that's anecdotal, it's not enough to tell the full no, story. No, but, but it, it tells you something. This is the biggest grain market you can find in, in, in Ghana and some say West Africa. And if you can find that kind of stock sitting there waiting for buyers, what does it tell you? And not to mention Tamale and the other places. I'm just talking about that enclave in Bono East, extending to northern part of Ashanti, Ejura, that, that area alone. Mm. So there's food. The fact that the prices have gone up are external to, this is why I'm, I referred you to the statistics on the growth in agriculture last year. 8.4 percent. External, you mentioned external being the chemicals, production uh, cost of chemicals mm -hmm. on farm, making cost of production much higher than before, and also cost of transport, three, three uh, petrol, uh, uh, diesel, petrol have gone up by three times. So of course, cost of, cost of transporting to the, and don't forget, the price in the urban market um, two components, the cost of production on the farm and the haulage to the, uh, the urban markets. And in both cases, prices have gone through the roof. So that is what is causing the, 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 the high price of food. But the food is there. I saw it myself. And this is at, it, at the end of the season. This is closing stocks from 2021. And in the next one month, we are going to have the harvest for this year coming in again. Yes, so, so, so the supply situation is very, very healthy. So, so